by the late 1960s, Britain needed something new, something faster, cleaner, something worthy of a modern era. The West Coast Main Line would be electrified from Weaver Junction to Glasgow Central at 25,000 volts. A massive re-signalling program came first. Out went the semaphores. In came multiple aspect colour lights, modern, bright and precise. A train to dig the holes, a train to mix and pour concrete, a train with cranes to lift the heavy steel masts into position. At Crew Works, once home to the legendary designs of Ramsbottom, Webb, Stanya and Riddles, a new generation of locomotives was taking shape. To run a railway at over 100 miles per hour, you don't just hang up wires, you rebuild the landscape. From there, sectioning cabins delivered power to the overhead wires, creating the invisible lifeline that would carry trains safely from England into Scotland. By 1974, the electrification of the 400-mile route from Glasgow to London was complete. Journey times fell dramatically. Reliability soared. The line became one of the fastest and busiest railways in the UK. The sound of steam and diesel was replaced by the hum of electricity. But the spirit of the railway remained the same, linking people, industry and nations.